This is the Getting Started Guide for EV Play. If you haven't installed your EV Play unit yet, please do that first. So, what is EV Play exactly? Well, it's actually three things in one. First, it's a switch that allows you view either the vehicle screen or the EV Play screen. Throughout the video, we might refer to these as the Vehicle UI and the EV Play UI, which is short for User Interface. You switch between the screens by clicking on the included wireless remote. If you have ever used one of those monitor switches in the past that allow you to share two computers with one monitor, well, this is essentially the same thing. Second, EV Play is an Android-based computer, similar to an Android tablet or phone. Although it is small, it is very powerful due to its 8-core, 64-bit processor, 6 tops NPU, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and 32 gigabytes of eMMC storage. This part of EV Play allows you to run most of the Google Play apps, such as Netflix, Hulu, Roblox, Microsoft Word, Zoom, and thousands of other entertainment, gaming, and productivity apps. It has Bluetooth and internet connectivity via the included Wi-Fi dongle or Ethernet port. Third, EV Play has special software and hardware that allows it run both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, either via a wireless or wired connection. EV Play has five USB ports, the four ports on the left, three white and one blue, are specific to the Android computer. The single black USB port on the right is only used for wired Android Auto and Apple CarPlay connections. Now let's get started. The first step is to connect to Wi-Fi. Click on the brown settings icon on the bottom taskbar, then click on the Network and Internet tab. Next, click on Internet, then click the Wi-Fi toggle. A list of Wi-Fi networks will then appear. Feel free to connect to your Rivian or mobile phone hotspot, or your home or work Wi-Fi. But do not connect to the AutoBox Wi-Fi. Once you are connected, launch the EV Play app. Accept any permissions if you are prompted. Enter your EV Play email address and password, then log in. If you don't have an EV Play account, you can click on the Create an Account link at the bottom to register. Once you are logged in, you are taken to the main EV Play app screen. Gen 1 owners will see a blue gear indicator tile. If you have a Gen 2, you will have a green speed and brown location tile instead. Both generations will have a switch source button, a button to reset the Android Auto and CarPlay connection, a check updates button, and a Settings button. Diving into the settings, you will see Auto Brightness and Night Mode. This setting allows you to adjust the brightness of the monitor depending on the time of day. Note that when this is enabled, you cannot adjust the brightness of the display using the Brightness slider in the drop-down tray. The other setting of note is the Auto Switch setting. For Gen 1, you can set EV Play to switch back to the Rivian screen whenever you put the vehicle in park. Also note on Gen 1 that EV Play will automatically switch to the Rivian screen when you put the vehicle in reverse, but this setting is not configurable. Gen 2 will have a different auto switch, which is based on location. 
it will not automatically switch to the Rivian screen when you put the vehicle in reverse. Now the part that everyone has been waiting for. To initiate a CarPlay connection, the first step is to make sure your phone is connected to the Rivian Audio Bluetooth and that it is selected on the Music tab. Next, launch the Autoplay app, which is the white icon with the green phone, located in your taskbar. In your phone's Bluetooth settings, find the AutoKit connection and pair with it. At that point, EV Play will attempt to create the wireless CarPlay connection, and you should be good to go. For Android Auto, we need to change a few settings. First, go to your AutoPlay settings and make sure the following is selected. Decoding method is software. Go to advanced settings and change media delay to 750. Then finally, change audio channel to box, and hit return. Next, we need to pair your Rivian Audio with EV Play. Go to the EV Play settings again, click on Connected Devices and select Pair New Device. Then switch to the Rivian screen, click the Bluetooth icon, and pair with EV Play. Then similarly to CarPlay, Find the AutoKit Bluetooth entry on your phone's Bluetooth screen, pair with it, and EV Play will do the rest. Enjoy! If you require additional assistance, please visit the support section of our website.